2 Timothy chapter 1, verse number 7. We just kind of hit on it last week, but I just want to deal with this. Verse number 7 says, For God hath not given us, he's not done what? He's not done what? For God has not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind for God hath not given us I don't want anything that God has not given me I don't know about you today I don't want nothing that God has not given me and so therefore if the writer says that God has not given us the spirit of fear, then why do we allow fear to rule our lives? If God has not given us the spirit of fear, then why do we allow ourselves to be restricted from what God has called us to do. If God has not given us the spirit of fear, then who gave it to us? Well, anything has been given, somebody had to give it. But the point is also somebody had to receive it. So if Spirit, fear is a spirit to be given, then we can say we don't want it. Have you ever had uh, a package come to the door that you didn't want? You just didn't answer the door. <laughs> ding dong, ding dong. We're not here. I don't want that. That's what you've got to do when it comes to the spirit of fear. When fear is coming into your life, you've got to not receive the package. Our subject today, again, is fear the enemy to destiny. Fear the enemy to destiny because I want you to know that your fear is not to be played with. Many times we will allow fear to operate in our lives and we'll say, well, that's normal. We're just being natural. We're just, we're just being, um, uh, you know, everybody fears. Uh, no, you better get in, in your mind that I am not a going to allow fear to rule and to have preeminence in my life. There's no place for fear in my life. I want you to know that fear will stop the very divine presence of God from working in your life because you cannot have fear and faith at the same time. God don't work with fear. He's got to get you out of fear before he can ever move in your life. He's not going to move if you're in fear. How many of us are stifled and, and blocked and stopped in our lives because we've allowed the spirit of fear to stop us and paralyze us to the point where we're not able to go to the next level, not because God does not have the next level for us or does not want us or uh, even has plans for our lives, but because we are afraid. We're afraid to step out, afraid to move out, afraid that uh, we don't have what it takes to be what God has called us to be. The Bible says in verse 7, for God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but what did he give us? But of power. He's given us a spirit of power. He's given us a spirit to make things happen. You don't need power just to have power. You need power to make things happen. He has given us a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. Is your mind sound today? As far as what God has said, he's given you a, a sound mind. And you need to make that confession. I've got a sound mind. 
My mind is good. It thinks right. It thinks as it should. It, it's, it, it works to the kind of perfection it's supposed to work. It is designed to. I have a sound mind, and I do not uh, fear. Because what fear will do, fear will affect your mind. Fear will get in your mind to the point where you will, it will paralyze you from making uh, good decisions because you are fearing what could happen, what might happen. But God does not want us to be bound by fear. What is fear? As I told you last Sunday, fear is false evidence appearing real. Everybody say it with me, false evidence, false evidence appearing real. That's what fear is. False evidence appearing real. Fear is an emotion that will rob you of your potential. You've got a lot to do, and God has a lot invested in you, but if you are fearful, it will rob you of your very potential. Potential unrealized means nothing. You'll never be what God called you to be if you are walking in fear. It will steal your destiny. It is one of Satan's greatest tools to derail you from your destiny, that spirit of fear. Fear. I'm, I, 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 I'm fearful because I have been told that I don't measure up. I'm fearful because I've been told that I don't have what it takes. I'm, I'm fearful because I, 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 don't, I don't believe that things are going to turn around. I, I, I'm fearful because I don't really, the bottom line, know who I am. When you know who you are, you can release fear and not ever allow fear to come in your life. The reason why you fear is because you don't know who you are and you don't know who you are because you don't really know who God is and you don't know who God says you are. God says that you are, are great and you don't have to fear. What did he do when he got ready to get Joshua ready to go over into to the new land, into Kadesh Barnea, into Canaan land? He, got it, he had to get his mind right first. He said, be of good courage. Only believe. Don't, you know, uh, believe me. Trust me. Follow what I said. Get the word of God. Let it be in your mouth and, 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 and meditate on it so that thou might have good success. He had to get his mind right. Every person that God has to use in order to do what he wants him to do, he's got to change his mind about himself first. There was a man named Moses who did not believe that he was able to do what he was called to do. And God could not bring him to, to do what he was called to do and was eventually did do, and that was to free all of the Israelites and bring them to emancipation uh, until he could first get him to change his mind about himself. You are your biggest enemy when you allow fear into your life. Fear has no place. Fear has no place in your destiny. Why? Because if God says you are this, if God called you to do this, if God called you to greatness, nothing can stop you but what's between these two ears. Nobody can stop you if this mind is right. Nobody can stop you until, you see, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. If you don't believe you can do it, you can't do it. If you don't believe you're going to make it, then you're not going to make it. When you feel fear, it means that something is lying to your eyes and to your ears that you don't have what it takes to reach a goal or bring success into your life. Something is lying to you. It's telling you something that is not true. That's what fear does. Do y'all believe that today? Yeah. Repeat after me. God has not given me not the, spirit the spirit of fear. Therefore, I will not allow, will not allow fear, to fear to control my life. 
Clap your hands and praise the Lord. Let's say this, with God in me, I cannot fail. Do you believe that? Oh yeah, if God's in you, you cannot fail. For greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Failure is not an option if God is in you. The only time we fail is somewhere we've got off track. We got off the path. We've, we, there's something we've done that, that have gotten us off the wrong path. There's something that we've thought, something, idea that we believe that wasn't correct. It's the reason why we've gone the wrong way. That's why I said you're a co-creator of your, your, your existence and your reality because wherever you are in life is because of the decisions that you made. The choices that you made has determined where you are. You have created your situation. That car you're driving, you decided that car. The house you live in, you decided that. You made those decisions. Amen? Fear is a self-fulfilling prophecy. Whatever you fear is what's going to come to pass in your life. Because it is the opposite of faith. It is faith in the wrong direction. Job said, the very thing that I feared has come upon me. The very thing, what I've been meditating on. And see, what, what, when you fear something, you have meditated on the wrong thing. You have meditated on something that is not true. You have meditated on something that is, that is a lie. And you have meditated on something that is not of God because God did not give you the spirit of fear. So therefore, if you had fear in your life, you've been meditating on something that wasn't God. You've been taking what the, what the devil has said. You've been taking what your flesh has said. You've been taking about, uh, something from somewhere else other than from God because God didn't give it to you. If I got it, well, it's because of this, it's because of that. It makes rational. See, and I'm telling you every day, I'm, I'm realizing every day that my mind is my biggest enemy because many times my thoughts is stopping me from being what I need to be. The more intellectual you are, the more uh, in a box you become because your intellect is nothing in compared to God. Didn't I tell you all the other, other Sunday, God does not call not many noble. He does not call many uh, wise in terms of this world, but he chooses the foolish things to confound the wise. He chooses what he considers wise, not what man considers wise. The more that man considers it wise, the more destructive it is. The more unproductive it is, the more, in many cases, against God it is. Because he said even the carnal mind is enmity to God. Is anybody here today? You choose to allow fear into your life. Fear brings pain and struggle into your life because it prevents you from taking action and uh, that actions that benefit you and fulfill the vision of God for your life. The external should never be your reality. What's going on around you should never be your reality. The external should never be your reality. Your reality has to be beyond what you see, what you smell, what you think. It's what we call walking by faith. Uh, it means that your reality is not what I see. No, 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 that ain't what my, that's not my reality. It's, it's not what I feel. It's not, no, that's not my reality. It's, it's not what I hear. It's not my reality. It's, it's what God's word says. That is my reality. Romans chapter 8, Romans chapter 8, verse 14. God wants to help you today because he wants you to realize your destiny. But he knows some of the fears that we have has been ingrained from us from children, something our parents said, something uh, we've been taught, we've been trained into this mindset we limit ourselves did you know that there's people that can do great things but 
they have been taught and talked that they uh, did not have the, have the capability. There's a doctor, um, 